Hey guys, Antoine at Legend Automotive. Today we're doing steering rack boots on a 2001 Subaru Forester JDM, and I'll show you why. So as you can see, this boot is torn right up. And then on the opposite side, same thing, wide open. So we need to replace those ones. All right, so first step to start this job, tires gotta come off. All right, so when you have the tire off, it's gonna expose this outer tire rod here. It's held in by a 19 mil nut and a cotter pin. The cotter pin has to come off first to access this nut. So, pair of side cutters, bend it back. That's how it comes off. So one thing you do need to realize doing this job replacing the steering rack boots, when you loosen off some steering components, especially this nut, tie rod, it will change your alignment. So you can always mark the threads with a paint pen. I have one right here. Just give it a mark and you, this nut needs to go back exactly the position it was before you started. All right, so you also have a 19 mil nut here. You gotta loosen off, grab 19 mil wrench, and loosen it off. All right, so you need to loosen this nut off now that holds the outer tie rod into the knuckle. 19 mil socket, comes right off. Now you wanna get the outer tie rod out of this knuckle here. What I do is I use a hammer and then start hitting it till it comes off. Just like that. Okay, next step is you will unscrew this outer tie rod from the inner tie rod. I use a 13 mil wrench. I hold the inner tie rod and I spin it off. As you can see, this one is coming off easily. You may come across some of them that are gonna be seized up. So you may need to heat it up around this section and use some penetrating fluid to get it loose. Here we go. All right, this nut also has to come off. I'm gonna hold the inner tie rod with my wrench. Grab my gun, 19 mil. She spins right off. All right, now that we're under the car, you can see the boot. There's a clamp on this side and then a wire fastener on this side. It could be a tie strap, could be a clamp, but we need to remove this and this one as well. And now remove the boot. All right, so once you have the old boot off, time to put the new one on. So slide it over your inner tie rod. Slide easily. And then right on to the rack. Let's bring it close. Start it on one side. You may need a hook tool like I'm gonna use right now. Should come right over. Just like that. And so on this kit, they sent us some tie straps. So wrap it around. And that's what's gonna tighten down the boot to the rack. There it is. And then cut the end off. And at the opposite side, you wanna put this clamp, I'm using some needle nose, and then you slide it over. And put it right back on. All right, so I've just sprayed the tie rod with some penetrating fluid. Now put your nut back on. And remember, you will need a wheel alignment after this process is done. 
So it's about there when we start in. And then you want to get your outer tie rod and screw it back on. And back into the knuckle. Alright, so last step, we need to put this castle nut back on. As you can see, there's a hole here on the tie rod. The cotter pin goes through here. So one of these notches have to be in line with this hole. Grab your cotter pin. Give it a, give it a smack. All right, for your last step, let's put the tire back on. For the last step, make sure you torque your wheels. This one takes 80 foot pounds. Make sure you look up your proper torque spec. All right guys, so that's how you do steering rack boots on this JDM Forester. Hopefully you liked the video. Subscribe for some more legit content. This client has ripped. Uh, He's ripped? <laughs> JDM, we're good. Oh, that's my car. The clamp on right here and some kind of wire on this side. She might want to jiggle a little bit. 
And this just doesn't want to go on easily this time. All right. 80 foot bounce on this one. Play steering rack boots on a 2000. Do you like the video? They're not liking this part of it. 